Member for Moncrief. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, this Labor government is in chaos. Yep. It's like a summer cyclone after 18 months of wind. It's a culmination. It's culminated into a cost of living crisis, and the economy is in the low of the storm. And Labor's waters are breaching national security, and Australians who rely on their government to keep them safe in their communities are drowning. They are drowning. This government has failed on the economy. Cost of living is going through the roof and families cannot afford to hold it together. Inflation under them has been higher for longer, causing interest rates to be higher, yep. inflicting pain on Australian families. This government has spent $188, $188 billion in keeping inflation higher for longer, and especially at Christmas, where families want to celebrate together. They want to spend extra money on groceries. They want to spend extra money on celebrating togetherness at this time of year. But alas, under this government, under this Albanese Labor government, 50 per cent of Australians say that they are worse off this year yeah. and their pay packets don't go as far as they did last year. Yeah. Electricity costs under this government are up by 18 per cent. Where's the $275? The Prime yeah, Minister promised, he pro promised Australians $275 off their electricity bill, but under this government electricity is up by 18 per cent. Gas! If you want to cook in your gas cooker, I've got one at home. Prices are up 28 per cent. 28 per cent. That's expensive. And unaffordable rents are due to high interest rates because landlords pay those interest rates due to this government keeping inflation higher for longer. They are distracted. They have been distracted on what matters most to Australians, which is the economy. They have been distracted by the Prime Minister's $450 million referendum that Stop failed. $450 million. The Prime Minister paid $450 million for Australians to categorically tell them they will not be divided on race. What a waste of money. The government has spent $4.7 billion on increasing the childcare subsidy without one new place in re yeah. regional and remote so, Australia. Yeah, just push costs up. They may have helped some families, but there are families who still cannot access early childhood education and care. Families are languishing on waiting lists. Waiting lists everywhere, all over the country. And for those families who can't work, they can't pay the bills. This is all under the Albanese Labor government 18 months in. The Prime Minister has been distracted by his flight times and he's dropped his boarding pass a few times now. He's dropped his boarding pass on national security. Ten boats, ten boats have attempted to come to our shores. It's a disgrace. His immigration minister, his home affairs minister, they're patting each other on the back during question time. What a great job they've done. But they are now costing taxpayers $255 million to boost community safety for their failure. That's exactly right. We have over 100 hardened criminals now out in our community. One of them? We don't know where they are. We don't know where that criminal is. Thanks to this government. Thanks to this government, Australians have to lock their doors this Christmas. Australians, you have to watch your children very closely this Christmas, thanks to this government letting pedophiles out into the street. You've got to tighten your belts. You've got to batten down the hatches for another year under the cyclone that is this Labor government. They are failing Australians where they should not be, failing on the economy, failing on national security and failing on community safety which is the primary role yep. of governments, right. to Thank look you. after Australian citizens. Shame on you. Shame on you. Yeah.